Hello and welcome to my group's presentation of the new Des Moines MLS team, the Des Moines Dragons. My name is Cody Simon, and along with my team members Brady Dunlap, Carter Wiley, Kyle Munoz, Dalton Larrington, and Alex DeHaan, we are here to promote tickets to our first ever season as an MLS team. The product that we will be selling will be tickets to the Des Moines Dragons home games for the 2020 MLS season. Our target market will be framed around college students and colleges and universities around the Des Moines area. Now, did you know that 73% of students have smartphones? This is an advertiser's dream because it's easy to contact them. Keeping in mind that the focus is to attract these students to the games, the ideas that were presented through this marketing plan that we will be presenting are good ways of making that happen. I will be going over our marketing objectives and to see if they can be carried out in order to get as many college students to our opening season. Now, when it comes to our competition, we have to look at a lot of factors. One, with the involvement of advanced technology, we're able to stream any game from home, it becomes more difficult for people to come to the game because they do not want to leave the comfort of their homes. Then you also have places like sports bars and restaurants that also stream the games, which, which then draw people away from attending the actual home game in person. Our keys to success are something that need to be pointed out first. One, we plan to promote everything about us as much as possible. We need to hit them everywhere so that we can make sure that they actually see us. However, we are starting off with issues that we will need to draw attention to fast in order to get things started. First thing is that we are noticing that students are still unaware of our existence and we need to attack that fast. The next bit is that our games do not seem appealing to the fans yet, mainly due to the fact that nobody knows what it's like to attend a Des Moines Dragons game. Now as we move on through the presentation, I would like to go over our SWOT analysis in order so that everyone can understand a little bit more. Before First, let's talk about our strengths. One of which being that because we are a diverse team, it means we bring more culture to the city, which means we have a more cultured fan base, and we are able to take that as a benefit for the long run. Another strength is that the MLS as a whole has great coverage of through TV deals, so exposure is easy to come. Now our weaknesses come to the facts that we are a new brand team that has no brand history or recognition yet. So we do not have the rapport with the fans and we do not know what to expect from them and they do not know what to expect from us. Another thing is that the MLS slash soccer as a whole is not necessarily leading in popularity in the United States as of this moment. But we, our biggest opportunities surround around the fact that we are the first to do two things in the state of Iowa. One, we are the first to hold a professional soccer team in the state of Iowa. And second, we are the first overall professional team in the state of Iowa. Minor league teams or affiliates to major league teams. Then we come down to our threats. One of which being that there are already three teams in Des Moines already here. The Iowa Cubs, the Iowa Wolves, and the Iowa Barnstormers. None of which are professional teams, however. The next threat swarms around the fact that there are other forms of entertainment in the Des Moines area, such as movie theaters, bars, and local businesses that can provide a form of entertainment. Now our strategy is to actually sell tickets to college students which is actually by promoting through the schools at which the students attend. We want to make sure that our brand can work well with schools surrounding us because otherwise that is thousands of people that we are not reaching and that is truly a missed opportunity. In order to get college students involved with the team, we need to incentivize them. We will do that through the Dragons app slash student card. This item the student card will be received through the games at the ticket booths and the app is easily downloaded through your smartphones. Each time you attend a game you will, you will scan your card at the ticket booth and it will automatically go to your app and record it. The more games you go to 
the more rewards you can get. And with promotions like student nights, we will use those as additional events to receive extra points slash prizes for more incentives. Speaking of student nights, we will be hosting student nights where we bring universities and colleges to be recognized, and they will receive a certain discount on their tickets. We will also provide a form of transportation to help bring the schools to us and clear space in the parking lot even so that they can have their own personal tailgate. This is used to build relationships between not only the students, but the actual institutions with us as well. So that when the students leave and graduate, we still bring in the new students that come in every year. Other ideas swarming around the student nights are like students of the game, where we find three to five students that bought tickets and we upgrade them to special seating and have them up on the video board as well. And because students like free stuff, we will be doing giveaways such as drawstring bags, t-shirts, key rings, and lanyards to entice the students even more to come. A big way for us to advertise is through the use of YouTube ads. These ads vary in a price due to the amount of time you would like to run your ad through YouTube and how many views you are wanting to receive as well. And through YouTube, you can also do a couple different options. One, a standstill graphic that you can have in the corner of the page that will be up every single time someone goes onto YouTube. And the most commonly used trailers that people tend to skip. Now we can recommend allowing skips or no skips for our ad. That is just up for us to decide. And the biggest thing we need to consider for targeting the specific market is the use of social media. Social media has become huge. It is a free way to promote many different events and programs and ideas. Its use is massive and it would be absurd if we did not even attempt to hop aboard on this free advertising that is presented to us. In order to get all this done, specifically what we have just talked about for the presentation, we will need to start early. And that, and that all begins January of 2020 four months before our first game and we need to make sure that our future fans know what is going on and what is presented to them so we can rely so we will be relying on many people to get this in to get this out but we will be looking toward our ticket sales coordinator our director of fan experience and our director of marketing and advertising and other marketing coordinators in order to get all the word out as much as possible. In conclusion, we have come up with a marketing plan that will target mainly towards the college students to bring fans for our first season as an MLS team. We plan, we plan to do this through the universities and colleges that we contact throughout the year, the digital content that we will be sending out through YouTube, the social media that we will be sending out relentlessly to get the word out, and the student nights that we can use to incentivize the students to actually come to our events. We plan on making the experience for our fans one of the most enriching experiences they can have at a sporting event ever. Here are our resources, and if there are any questions, please let us know. Thank you very much.